Hi, I'm Lou, welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new series of art tutorials. Um, this series is going to be all about patterns, so I'm planning eight weeks of videos on pattern generation, pattern design, we're going to paint some really lovely simple watercolour patterns and uh, yeah, I've, I've got some really fun things planned. If you saw my London vlog, you'll see that I uh, I wanted to I, I came back with a sense of wanting to bring back joy into my life and to my art making. So I am going to um, try and funnel that all into the uh, the tutorials that I'll be creating this season. Um, so they're going to have a real focus on joy and colour and playfulness. So in these Tuesday videos, what you'll see me doing is working through ideas. Um, I'm going to be working in my sketchbooks um, and I'm going to be uh, kind of playing with some pattern ideas and some colours and, uh, and maybe some new techniques, maybe some new mediums, those kind of things. And then in the Friday video, what you'll get is a step-by-step -step tutorial. Today, I'm going to be working on some simple patterns based on geometric shapes. So I've decided that this notebook that I got in London is going to be my kind of pattern design resource notebook and I've already started kind of filling a few pages with different pattern ideas like these. So these are all uh, just things that are generated from using very very simple shapes and I'm going to show you the, the process that I go through to, to make these. I do all my planning in notebooks like these uh, with either grid or dot lined paper and I thought that's what I would use this one for but actually I'm going to use it as more of a design book. So uh, so let's see, um, I'm going to start with um, some really simple geometric designs and I'm going to start with circles, I love circles. So I'm leaning into joy, I'm leaning into the things that I like and I like circles so I'm going to start with a circle. So the beauty of these books is that you can use the grid lines as a guide. So I can make a rough circle that's two squares wide, two squares high, and then say, okay, one circle, how do I make a pattern out of that? Well, the obvious thing to do is to repeat them. Another circle, another circle, another circle. And then I could, uh, I could put some circles underneath. And you might think this is a really boring pattern, but it depends what you do with it. And if you paint these in watercolour and where they touch, you allow them to, the different colours to blend, then you get some really interesting effects. But let's see what else we can do with circles. So um, let's start with the same circle. And uh, let's do maybe a half circle instead. So rather than a full circle, we'll do a half one. Then maybe leave a bit of a gap another half circle, full circle. Now if I put another half circle on there it's going to look like a bag of sweets. Uh, maybe that's a good thing. And then what does this pattern look like when you repeat it? So maybe there's a half circle there. All I'm doing with this process is just at each point just saying I wonder what happens if and how do I change this? So you could change the size, you could change the scale. So rather than doing all of my circles the same size, what happens if I change them up a bit? So I've got some tiny ones and some bigger ones. Is it possible to fill a whole space? with like minimal gaps, probably, just depending on the size of the circles that you choose. Now I was obviously getting into this because I wanted to keep going, in fact I'm still going. And that to me is a good sign that this is a pattern that I'm enjoying making because I want to, I want to keep going, I want to see what happens, I want to fill this edge in. I want to know, can I make a nice regular shape out of it? And and yes, I'm, 
there's a compulsion there to keep making. So I think this is a good one for me. Um, okay, let's see, where do we go with this? So, well, this is just like one circle. What happens if you do like concentric circles? Maybe we'll do a bigger one to start with. And maybe three rings each circle. And this again is a nice regular pattern, but I think I'm going to put my middle circle kind of offset here. It's harder to draw that second line of circles because it doesn't line up so neatly with the grid. And then what happens if I take these concentric circles and do a pattern like this? Again, I might have to scale it up a bit. Oops, overlap that one. Never mind, it's just a sketchbook. So each time I'm just asking, what happens if I change something? And what what I mean by that is I'm, I'm looking at kind of two things. One is how does it look visually? Is it busy? Is it quiet and calm? Uh, is there something about it that appeals to me? And then the second thing is how do I feel about drawing it? So a lot of it's about intuition and emotion and how how does it make me feel to make this pattern? How How does it make me, does it make me want to continue or am I finding it difficult and is, is it a struggle? And the ones that I'm quite enjoying, I'll, I'll maybe develop a little bit more and keep going and, and seeing where they go and try and work out what it is about each pattern that I quite like. I'm going to continue filling this page with different circle patterns and, uh, and then I'm going to take some of these and develop them a little bit further. So I've come up with my little pages of designs and you can see that I, I sometimes stuck to circles, sometimes I broke the circles up, um, sometimes I drew lines inside the circles, um, just playing with all sorts of different ideas. Um, so some of these I feel like are I'm happier with than others, um, some of them are interesting in different ways, I quite like the kind of onion skin look of this one. Um, uh, this one I thought I'd quite like, but it, uh, when I finished it, it looks like um, it looks like a little box of tablets or screws or something. So maybe not. But then you could do it in a colour and it would change. So that might work. Um, I quite like this. That was kind of going off piece. I started kind of breaking the circles up into these kind of petal shapes and then went off with the petals and did that. Um, so the purpose of this exercise is not that you replicate exactly the same patterns as I'm uh, I'm doing here, but if you start with the same uh, same basic starting point and then say what happens if I change this, 
And some of your patterns might end up looking like mine, but every time I do this, I end up with something completely different. So I think that um, I think that if you do it and you um, you start getting that little niggling voice in your head just going, I'm enjoying this pattern, but what would happen if I made the circles bigger or different sizes or split them in half or whatever it is that you can think of to do with them? Then you'll end up with something at the end of your page which looks very different to mine. And then what I've got here is a design resource that I can come back to again and again and uh, and refer to whenever I'm a bit stuck and I'm looking for a pattern to to work on and I can kind of have a look through and look at some of the ideas that I've already generated and see if there's anything in here that might look interesting um, uh, in a painting or um, whatever it is that I'm doing. So thanks very much for watching today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and that it's been useful. The video that I've got coming up on Friday, I'm going to be taking three of the patterns that I've worked out in this book that all start with that circle shape and I'm going to be developing them in watercolour. So I really hope that you'll join me for that and I'm looking forward to seeing you then. Bye bye.